now then, I'm a bit under the weather. I've got a bit, little bit of a, a cold, but I'll man through it. Worst things have happened at sea. Welcome and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. I just wanted to just do a little bit of a piece to camera before I cut to a little bit of a highlight reel of the things I've been up to this year. Um, I just wanted to wish everyone a heartfelt Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope you're all well. Um, I hope you all, I hope Santa uh, emptied his bag for you all. Um, came down your chimney and that. 2019 has been a, it's been a roller coaster, mate. So it started, oh, well, I went off the rails. I'm not gonna, not gonna hide it. I went off the rails at the beginning of the year. Good few months, I think. Just lost my way a little bit, drinking heavily and just lost my way. And yeah, sort of September, start of September, something like that. I made a conscious effort to to get my, my, uh, my act together. And I just cut back on the drinking, started doing yoga and more exercise and um, just being a little bit more mindful and just making better decisions for my physical and, and mental health. I've come to the realisation that you can find a balance between healthy living and just getting a little bit buck wild once in a while. <laughs> and everyone's balancing, everyone's tipping point is different. Some people can't drink whatsoever or party hard. Um, some people can party as hard as they like and just get up for work and, and still function. I'm thinking I want to be somewhere in the middle. Respect both. Um, and and learn moderation and uh, and just know your own body. You know, be comfortable in going out without a drink. That's what I, you know. Midweek, go off, meet some friends. Don't drink. Just have some. Just drink some fruit juice or whatever. You'll still have a good time. If you need booze to have a good time, then you're in. You're in. You're in trouble there. You need to reevaluate. I think. And you'll notice there's a lot less uh, drinking and getting wavy on the channel, and that's that's intentional because I don't. I don't want to always promote that, and I don't want that to always be what I'm about. Um, it's look, every now and again we're going to slug a few bottles of vino or get some beers down us, but um, I, I don't want to be seen as just the Harry Potter of Porters or whatever, some sort of Paul Daniels of Jack Daniels, just a booze fiend. So 2020, <laughs> I'll carry on what I've been doing and just. We'll go on adventures, not always boozy adventures, but we're going on adventures. But, <laughs> scratch that, because I want to have a drink with you to celebrate. I'm probably just, a lot of the time, I know I probably just contradict myself a lot of the time. Sometimes I don't even know if I know what I, I'm on about. I just have to I just speak how I feel at the time. So I do apologise if I contradict myself. It's not on purpose, I'm just, just a fraggle. <laughs> Look at this. Speaking of, speaking of fraggles, <laughs> who's that? It's your boy. Ugh. That's me. Oh, do you know? <laughs> uh, do you know? <laughs> John Peeler. I can still say things like John Peeler, can I? And do, and all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> I'm not sponsored by them, they don't pay me out, just, I still love them. Oh, mate. Oh, you can't. They have a little thing there, a little survival tip. Some photos of our journey up, uh, up Ben Nevis. It's a blueberry and honey imperial stout. And it's coming in at 9%. Ooch, Iwala Wala. That's going to knock you noggin off. Yeah, it's a 2020, man. To finding that balance. <laughs> Ooh. Right, David Bellamy, R.I.P. Because he is a legend. So this is R.I.P. David Bellamy, D.B. Oh, goof, that drags you with it. Punch, drag. Ah, oh, Ivan Drago. Absent Friends and David Bellamy. Oh, that's good. 
that's quite divine. How is that 9%? Oh. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, but I'm still getting everything from that. The blueberry, the honey. Oh, the carbonation is just on point. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. It's been an amazing year. I've found out a lot about myself. As I say, it's been a roller coaster. Um, you've all been amazing. The support and the love I've felt and seen and all your nice comments. and It's just been... <clears throat> I'm just... Uh, I'm just really grateful. So, New Year, <clears throat> let's go. 2020, I feel like it's going to be a good one. I, I hope you lot have a good one as well. Um, we'll leave 2019 in the past. We learn. It was a mixed, like I say, it was a mixed bag for me. <clears throat> I had um, some, pretty, some lows and some highs. I've got this, um, my nan, rest her soul. She used to say I had the devil on my shoulder, and uh, I would just, it sometimes, I'd just get this voice saying, do, like, just go wild, or whatever, or sometimes, and then, but this year, the beginning of the year, it was, it was a very, like, I was my own worst enemy, so this, like, I'd want to do something, I'd know I had to do something, progress, like, maybe do some quotes for work, or go camping, or see friends, or do something, and then, just this little voice in my noggins going, nah, don't do that, mate. Don't do that. You just go back to bed or you just don't do that. Don't do things that, you know, uh, go climbing, go to yoga, go to the gym. And then this little voice is like, nah, mate, don't do that. Don't do that. Sit, sit, in, your, sit in your underpants and eat cheese out of a shoe. I'm like, all right, mate, I'll do it. They really dunkers and that. Um, and I, and it, and... And then that voice just got louder and louder and started to dictate what I was doing, this negative. Um, it's not an actual voice, it's just me, part of me being uh, like a negative version of me. So I, made, <clears throat> I had to make a conscious effort to be more motivated and it starts, like I said before, there's just three things for me and I can change my whole outlook on life, my whole mental frame. Like, it's just, I start just diet, I eat clean. Um, loads of greens, I cut out sugar, cut out carbs, just loads of greens, um, loads of organic if you can, um, plenty of vitamins, take supplements if you need to, diet first, and then sleep, make sure I'm getting a solid 8 or 9 hours a night, and then exercise, so it's just diet, sleep and exercise, as simple as that, takes a lot of doing, takes a lot of forcing yourself to do it, but slowly, they're your building block. They're my building blocks for my mental state. It's just if I get them, start doing them within a couple of days, it just snowballs and gets everything gets easier. And then once you're back, <laughs> once you're back in the game, then you start putting little defense mechanisms there for when for when that voice might come back. And by defense mechanisms, I just mean sustaining the healthy living, finding a balance, doing what makes you happy. And um, yeah, cutting out a lot of negativity in your life, and just there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, bits of thread that weave your noggin together, and you've just got to get them all. Just work on on them all a little bit at a time. Don't get overwhelmed, and don't be too and don't berate yourself if you fuck up. <laughs> I swore there, and I'm not going to berate myself for it, and you shouldn't either. Unless something magical or tragical happens, I shall see you in 2020. Namaste. Cue montage. Testies, testies, one. <laughs> Please, salute. Yeah, having, having dignity is something that's important to me. So thanks for watching. La moon, la moon. <laughs>
Dear Mr. Here's your wallet, drawn a notebook at Whitby Police Station for safekeeping. Mate, that is so lucky. That's so lucky, innit, that the police found it and not some scallywag. Oh, shouldn't keep this in though, because people worry about me. <laughs> I'm alright, it's fine. The drone's at Whitby Police Station. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, thanks for watching, see you, bye. <laughs> Look at that! Oh. 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 I'm sinking. Oh, can I get out? No. Oh, no. No. Right, if this video gets over a, over a thousand likes, I'll go in, I'll, uh, I'll do an overnighter in the abandoned tunnel. Should we go and have a look? Come on. Switch the batteries in my torch so I can at least see a little bit better now. <laughs> Look at this mate, that's scary. Half of. Uh, if I turn the light off, watch this. Absolutely pitch black mate. Oh man, stunning, look at this. I feel great, I feel absolutely mint now. Slept in a haunted tunnel, woke up to this beautiful, beautiful scenery. Is I know you watch my channel, can you see? Here, uh, so I've had enough of sort of badgering MCQ, so I've been badgering Ray for a, a while, privately, on email and on uh, like MySpace and that, phoning him and that, and I've managed to, to get him to, <coughs> e e that's an e email, is that email? <laughs> do you have sex in there? Or do you not bother? No, I didn't, I didn't think so. Why would you mate, you're too cool. Well, let's let's all be honest. A cool logo, and also they've got you've got my boy's logo there. Here we go. Oh, that's a little souvenir. Look at that. Should we get us on so that we, everyone knows we're both, like we're both. We're both in. And they pose next to it. <laughs> my local guide has found a way through. Uh, what's this? Oh. <laughs> Do it right. Do it when right. <laughs> I can't even hold this, man. Whew. I just sort of tattooed uh, and uh, that knob and balls at the bottom of my foot. That's Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> yeah. I used to love that when he dived into it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. I bet that real hurt though in real life it'd probably stop <laughs> you. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's not. Oh <laughs> man. You're just literally eating metal floor, aren't you? Because no. So Scrooge must have been a, a hard man. 
you've streamlined He had the beak as well to cut for the first few coins. <laughs> we'd just be like, it'd just be, you'd only do, you'd Scrooge McDuck it for like one day and then that's it, intensive care. <laughs> How did he go? Uh, well, anyway. <laughs> Here we go. You've got this, mate. Oh! Fucking! Should we somersault in for lol? I don't know what their content's like, it might be terrible, but they're good lads, so I approve. <laughs> and yes, and that's one of my exes and that's the that's how it rolls these days, so <laughs> the big orange rising out of the big blue. There you go, so see in a bit. <laughs> what cobwebs? Ooh, you up, mate. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Where I'm waking up. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I'm in. Uh, I'm with Mike and Dustin. Uh, they are. Hey, if you don't know, now you know. Uh. Oh, she's so warm, mate. Right, let's get up. Can you wave goodbye as if I'm going? Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Thanks for watching. I'm getting cold. I'm going to go for one more, one more dive and then uh, get out and get warm. We did this steak challenge last year. I think every now and then I'll have a steak, we'll get together <laughs> and we'll just see how we're doing. Just check in on ourselves. It's behind me that you can see him. What are you doing? France, Tour de yeah, Tour de France, mate. It's got me in slipstream. <laughs> Mike, if you're watching, thank you very much. Morning! <laughs> also, take care of yourselves. Much love. What you? What's your final words? Out. Oh. Final words are: stay happy. 
Stay happy. Stay hydrated, I think you meant as well, on it. <laughs> <laughs> Stay hydrated over and out. <sighs> Cheers. Whew, absent friends. Oh, mate, it's all, it's all sorts of weird gear here. Right, got it. Tales from the garden. Hold on. Let's, let's fade out into fire lamps and lasses. All 12 of you. The 13 now, Alice, welcome back. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's how you catch a lobster, as easy as that. Easy as that. It's easy. Woo! That was not easy. <laughs> I'm on the water, by the way. Cheers to H2O. H2O. See how she tastes. <laughs> what we need to do I'm just giving it a little go on video vlogging. Seen Rambo when he's just hiding in cliff like that, and he's got his eyes closed. Is it on my eyelids? Yeah. Like that, and then he just goes. Yeah, that's good actually. And up his eyes. Eye Boom. Like that. Jonathan Rambo. <laughs> I've got an AWOL in it. Imagine if someone just comes along now. Your average Joe just comes along walking his dog. He wouldn't even see us for a start. And then we go. Hey, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you just look like the naughty kid at school who's been let loose with the Kens. Gone feral. <laughs> but let's see what's in here. It looks like we've been looked after here. <laughs> We're going in some little delve in there. Look at this. Buzzed about my new house, like. Thanks, this big old, big old oak for uh, looking over me as well. Let's give him a cuddle, shall we? Oh my, yeah. <laughs> Mom, my big mate. Rooted. Rooted to the ground. Ah, strength and wisdom. That's what I feel there. Speaking of wise, let's go and jump in some freezing water. Eight and a half. There you go, spot on. 
and then in there is just cinnamon. And that's it. <laughs> Wait a minute. So just cinnamon and dried mushrooms in there. Like, that's good, isn't it? That sounds delightful. Oh, the leg, mate, the leg. Too many in their pants, we'll end, we'll end on that. <laughs> we're waiting for the film dudes to get their shit together. Then we're gonna pack all the brew kit up and we're gonna head to the top of there. And fingers crossed, that cloud will do one. Northern star, Northern monk, and he does look like a monk. Please shot us a can of some good stuff. No, best day of my life. If anyone from Northern monks watching, what more can we do? <laughs> it's like a dream, like a dream come true. Uh, there I am, next to me lantern, blowing a, a tinder bundle into flames. Bushcrafty AF. There you are. There you are. I've done it. Believe in yourselves. You can achieve anything. I know people might not think this is a big achievement, but to me this is one of the highlights of my uh, my life so far. See here? This is a little um, instructions on how to make a can into a little tea lantern. If you've been with me on the journey to Northern Monk, this is for you. Genuinely. To everybody who's um, tagged me in Northern Monk or commented on them and emailed them, messaged them, whatever. But we'll leave this one here and uh, just much love from me to you. <sighs> Take care, <laughs> we did it. I'll see you later. Hey, Hayes, Mike here from MCQ with a warm message from the sub zero temperatures of South Lapland. Yeah, congratulations, mate. But more importantly, from the bottom of my heart, fuck off, Hayes. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care of yourself. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise onto the top. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month. <laughs>